my I'm wrestling him. And I'm David McGinnity, and this is Tiger Talks. is David McGinnity, and this is David Talks. Well, the other week I told you to send in your questions, and you children never fail me. Do aliens exist? Now, I've been waiting for this question for a while now because, well, I've thought about it a lot. And within our own line of sight, there are 200 billion galaxies. Now our solar system is one of hundreds of billions of solar systems within our own galaxy, which is the Milky Way galaxy. And our galaxy is not that big compared to many other galaxies. So if we multiplied ours by 200 billion, assuming that our own galaxy is just as big as all of the others, which I assure you it's not, then we'd have over trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of solar systems. And within those trillions of solar systems, there has to be quadruplet of, there has to be like trillions and trillions and trillions of those. Now, I am not very skeptical, but I do think that you have to be extremely skeptical to know of all of these planets and not think that there's alien life. And quite frankly, you need to be narcissistic because if you believe that we are the only life out there, then you believe that we are one fluke out of trillions and trillions of different creations. And if you believe that we are the only fluke out of all of these creations, then, well, you believe you're special, very special. You're not. You're not special. So, you just need to understand that we are not this perfect combination of things that no other, that no other solar system can duplicate because we are simply in the Goldilocks zone, which is proximity to the sun that makes life survivable on a terrestrial planet. And this is very easily found in 800 different planets, exoplanets, which are planets outside of our own solar system, that we can find within our own galaxy. And, well, we just need to fathom that either alien life has seen us before and they're not too impressed, or we were put in different solar systems for a reason. Thank you, this has been David Talks. Welcome back, folks, to the interview. Um, I'm Bryce Whitting, and today we're going to interview Mr. Rector. Mr. Rector, I have a couple questions for you. It's just a right. simple in nature. Answer them if you want. You don't have to. So question one is going to be, what's your favorite SpongeBob quote? Favorite SpongeBob quote? I don't know that I have a favorite SpongeBob quote. Uh, How about an episode? Episode would probably be either... Um, the Bubble Bass episode or uh, the Hashling and Slasher episode, one of the two. Alright, alright. Question two. Who's your worst student? Oh, that's a tough one because there are so many to choose from. I don't know that I can narrow it down to one individual student. Um, I'm going to go on a limb and say Ryder Howard, first hour. Yeah, he's up there. Uh, he, he's in, <laughs> he's in, the, he's in the, definitely in the top 10%. Okay, okay. So. okay. Question three. Well, do you like working here? I know you've been here for a year, but do you like your job here at GHS? I mean, yeah, I enjoy it. Um, I like the school, I like the community. Teachers are great. Uh, all the students are, are really good. So, um, so far, so good. Well, we like you too, so. That's good. <laughs> all right, last question. Explain your favorite college party, if you have one. A favorite college party? Um, you hanging out at the library? I did spend a, a, an inordinate amount of time at the library. 
Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head that uh, nothing that crazy like flaming couches off the roof. No, did never. I never had any flaming couches. Um, played a lot of basketball. Uh, a lot of out, ba yeah, basketball we did outside. We had a we had an outdoor uh, a driveway basketball goal, and we had some serious pickup games of basketball. So uh, that would probably be. Uh, that's about as crazy as it gets. So. Yeah, pickup basketball is cool with me. All right, you've heard it here, folks. That was the interview, Mr. Rector. Thank you. Thank you. But please tell me who's going to be the next person here. Are you asking me? Yeah. The next person. Next be, teacher. The next teacher to be interviewed. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Briones. You're already here, folks. See you next week.